okay to have disagreements, okay? Because the Lord, if a, if a person is here and another person is here and they're disagreeing with each other, but one's right and one's wrong, and God, if, if this person over here who's not mature or hadn't grown to that point yet or hadn't learned that yet, they can, they can, they got a time to grow and learn, okay? We all, I mean, I, I was wrong about things in the past, and I, I changed my doctrinal belief about the pre-trib rapture. I don't believe that anymore. I believe the post-trib rapture. You get what I'm saying? And we, but, and there may be people in here that are pre-trib rapture. That's fine, all right? It's, that one's clearly not a, not a salvation issue at all. But here's the, here's the difference. We can be, we can disagree and just say, hey, you know what? I don't agree with you. But it's a different thing altogether to go out and publicly tell lies and slander and try to destroy the character of another brother or sister because you don't agree with them on a doctrinal issue. Now, people were asking me why, why we hadn't responded yet to that libelous, slandering press release that Locke Media put out. And I'm going to tell you why. I was waiting for today because I was praying about it. And, you know, a lot of times you don't need to respond to something immediately anyway because you need to take some time to pray about it and make sure that you don't respond out of the flesh. But it was blatant lies all placed upon me. Now, think about it. There was probably well over 1,000 people there. Some, some estimate 1,500. Some estimate more or less. I don't know exactly. We had our crew there, Fire and Grace crew, and we all had on, come here, Donnie, we all had on these shirts and hoodies right here, and we had a section for our folks. Turn, let, me, let them see it, all right? And these are only available for another day or two, so if you want them, get them, all right? Yeah, it's not about supporting us either. We don't make any money off these. It's just people wanted them, and you said, we'll make them available for a few more days, but it, what it's costing us is what... You're getting them for. But our folks had those shirts on, and I assure you right now that none of our folks were screaming at anybody. Yeah, we had about 50 of our people there. None of our folks were screaming at anybody. None of our folks were smoking marijuana in the parking lot. None of our folks rushed the stage. And, it, and I still think, what, who would do that with the SWAT team they have there where they are 15? <laughs> and, um, and, though, there were... Many Christians there that I did not know. There were many unsaved people there that I did not know. There were a few from the flat earth community that I knew who they were. And we have known, uh, being acquainted over the years. But when you put out a press release that says that Odell's crowd was violent, rushing the stage, interrupting, and Odell's crowd was out in the parking lot smoking dope, and it was Odell's crowd out there causing a ruckus and all this stuff, crashing into cars and stuff like that. When you say that, you are actually, what are you, you're saying that I'm responsible for every person that might have happened to come in the church that night. First of all, that's just ridiculous, right? Second of all, it's, it's, it's like they became CNN. That press release sounded like CNN or MSNBC. And like they, they tr basically tried to January 6th us is what they did right there. We have many. There are people that saying from his church that we are around my truck out there smoking marijuana. And yet, we have videos. There's people out there that had their phones on the whole time, that people were live streaming the whole time. None of this happened. In fact, they did call the cops, and the cops were standing right behind my truck. Like, there was a police officer right there. We got video of her standing there. There were cruisers and cops all over the place. Had any of that been going on, there would have been arrest like this, right? Just a bunch of people would have been arrested. So what this was, this press release was a lying, just desperate attempt to spin the situation because he knew he got destroyed in a debate and he could not take it. And not only did he lose on substance, he lost on his tone and the way he handled it. And, and, and the comments, I have looked at hundreds and hundreds of comments on Facebook, on different posts and videos. And people who don't even agree with me on, on this issue have said, Odell clearly won. He, Locke was not prepared. He was destroyed. Destroyed. Some people counted up the scriptures. They said, I used at least 44 scriptures, maybe more, and he used six or seven. 
He decided to not address any of the scriptures that I gave and pretty much debate Nathan Roberts, who has gone into hiding a long time ago. And most of us don't agree with Nathan Roberts' list that he was going through. So what I'm saying is, is that if Pastor Locke would have just said, you know what, we disagree and we'll just let that be that, that would have been fine. But to try to destroy my character and integrity, to lie about me, my church folk here at Fire and Grace, he took it to a whole new level. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. If he doesn't repent and apologize and retract that, that and repent and tell the truth, the judgment of God is going to be upon his ministry. And it will get ugly. I will say no more about it because the Lord is going to handle it. You do not get to lie, slander, misrepresent another minister of the gospel. I'm sorry, you don't get to do it. So he just already, he stepped off into something now that he shouldn't have, clearly. So y'all need to be praying for him because judgment is on the way. The Lord will judge between me and him, I assure you. And you will see who is still standing and who is not when this is over with if he doesn't repent of the lies that he just told on me and on this church right here. So I'm going to tell you. Greg Locke might get away with this nonsense on some other preacher. He ain't getting away with it with me. Because I know who I stand with. And I know you're not going to get away with it. So, y'all watch. It may, take, it may take a few months. It may take a couple, two or three years. God, I don't know how God's going to do it. But there better be some repentance. And let me say this to the rest of everybody else. There are people out there just willing to tell outright lies about folks. Do not engage in that. Do not spread a rumor you hear about somebody unless you have proof. And then even if you have proof, sometimes you're supposed to keep your mouth shut and just let God deal with it. 